Hey guys, this is Practifile, and um, yeah, today we are gonna have a look at <laughs> this one here. It's not an I am, okay? For you guys who don't know me, I'm usually an earphone or I am reviewer that's related to audio. And um, a few months back, I got into photography, and for me, it's really therapeutic. Sometimes reviewing I ams can be very time demanding. Yeah, and and when I have time, I just you know release my stress and take photos so it's actually my first time doing a kind of like I don't know like a review on lenses and um, I have with me my Fujifilm XS10 and I'm using it now to shoot this video and um, what I'm trying to learn a lot and so I got this manual lens this is the TT Artisan 25 millimeter f2 so yeah, this is a very compact lens. Yes, yeah, especially paired with the XS10, very compact, very stealthy. I have to say, it's 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 in a heavier side. It's very hefty actually. It has some weight on it. It's fully manual though, so make sure that you turn on the setting on the XS10, like shoot without lenses, so that it can so that it works. Um, so this is what it looks like here. Um, you got this screw. And you see the lens there. Um, it has an aperture ring. Oh my god, I'm not really. I don't really know how to review lenses, but yeah, it's from f2 down to f16, and um, it has a very smooth focus ring from 0.25 to I think to infinity. Yeah, it's 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 built pretty well, and it's actually very good that I I, I decided to make a video of it because the image quality that this lens produces is. I don't know like for me it's it's very filmic in a way and I just like it I just like it and um, in this review I won't be talking about the specs I'm just gonna show you some what like some pictures that I took when I was in Japan I have you know I, I went to Japan like a few weeks ago and um, I stayed there for two weeks and yeah I hope you enjoy watching my photos of the this lens here, the TD Artisan 25mm f.2. Enjoy guys! So yeah, those are the photos that I took. Yeah, um, probably the cons that I, maybe the only cons that I'd give this would be some flaring, but it's easy to remedy, you know, just changing the angle. But sometimes the flaring just really pops out. Yeah, I mean, you can be creative uh, for that, um, but most of the time, didn't really notice that issue. Only in very glaring sunlights, things like that. But yeah, um, this lens taught me a lot 
it's probably I'd get the 50 millimeter f2 because like sometimes I feel like for street photography I'd want because again this is manual focus it's it's a prime lens so you can't zoom in and sometimes I just want to make that narrow uh, shot sometimes because you really need to go near the subject or at least be very creative so I don't know like I'm thinking of getting the uh, 50 millimeter f2 let's see what happens but so far this lens produces amazing results and I, I and I really like it and it's very cheap actually we're like how much did I buy this maybe around 50 bucks yeah it's and I don't know like I, I have my kit lens for Fuji um, of course it's very good it's autofocus but man like it's it's very sharp it's a very sharp lens and I, I do like it a lot yeah it, it's a it's a quick review about the lens and I don't know if you know my channel is yeah probably it's you know it's it's exclusive to IMs recently but it you know it doesn't say practical audio or something so I don't know like I just thought like sharing what my findings are with with the TD Artisan lens so yeah I hope you like and subscribe to my channel and um, you know like my video subscribe to my channel and um, hope to see you in the next video bye